So inside Tracy, <laughs> I'm going to tell you a bit more about um, the yarn I used and the needles I used and everything. So um, it is, is a top down raglan sweater. So you cast on at the top, of course, <laughs> because it's top down. <laughs> I use Drops Alpaca in this yellow shady. It's like it's like a vanilla yellowy shade. I'm not sure what to call this. Um, and I use that double for all the ribbing of the sweater and I did not use it anywhere else because it's what I wanted to do. For the actual sweater, it's a marled sweater where you can use all kinds of leftovers. You could make this super bright and fun and just use up everything you have. I decided to use all of these very not colorful yarns. So I had some leftovers and I wound one skein in this minty tealy color that I've used throughout. And yeah, just paired that with a lot of different leftovers in this very soft color palette because I wanted to have something different. You know, I have a lot of very vibrant and very bright sweaters. So I decided to do something different. And um, what I also wanted to talk about is the needle sizes. So for the ribbings, I used a 3.75 millimeter needle. That's a US 5. And for the main sweater, I used a US 7. That's a four and a half millimeter needle. And I'm just really happy with it. I did the sleeves both at the same time to make them match. And um, I knit both of these magic loop, which I don't really like all that much but you know I probably could have found two sets or oh, I just spit <laughs> I probably could have found two sets of DPNs but I was too lazy so I just you know didn't and <laughs> did it magic loop like I said before I'm happy with the fit in the sweater what I did after I separated the arms and the body is I decreased here you might be able to see here a decrease round down um every sixth row no did i do what did i do uh yeah, yeah every sixth row <laughs> i decreased every sixth row to make it this you know because that my my weight my waist might not be super pronounced but it is a bit slimmer than my bust so i decided to make the sweater hug my body and um, yeah, the sleeves are a bit too wide. I should have done them with less stitches. I didn't because I didn't know. <laughs> what I did do, however, is I did not try this on before I had the body finished because I've done a lot of top-down raglan sweaters. So I measured the raglan line and I know that that is ideally somewhere between 20 and 23 centimeters for me, depending on the fit that I want. So, I did 13 of those five stitch increase rounds and then I cast on 10 stitches at the underarm. So what I'm going to do for the second version, um, I will do 12 increase rounds and I will cast on only four stitches at the underarm. That will make it a lot smaller and therefore my sleeves will be tighter. And also it, here, you know, I do have excess fabric that I can get rid of. So. Yeah, I'm gonna make a even more fitted version for my second try. Well, not second try, for the second sweater, because I love this. You know, it's not a trial sweater that just will rot in my wardrobe. I will wear the heck out of this because I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, but second version, it's gonna be green. I have decided that already. It's gonna be also long sleeved and it's gonna be even more fitted. So yeah, that is my whatever sweater. The pattern is by Julie Knits in Paris. It's a paid for pattern and it's super easy to make. I started this, I think, eight or nine days ago. So it's a very fast knit and it's just perfect. I don't know what else to say. So I hope you all have a wonderful time. Bye.